Everybody knew Linda as Ugly Linda back then. Well, not Ugly Linda, but at the um, reunion, she was like the prettiest girl there. And everybody was trying to holler at her. Sing a favorite song And the world may sing along It was our 10-year high school reunion. Uh, we were driving around downtown looking for parking and immediately like I spot her. I was like, I know that's Linda. I could tell from her um, thick legs. We go to a reunion and then I see her with this girl. I'm like, who is this girl with her? She didn't go to our class. And turns out it was Kimmy. This girl did not go to our school. And I went to the reunion with one of my girlfriends, Kimmy, and I just basically went to the reunion just to be like, hey, I lost weight. And then I told everyone I was a lesbian. <laughs> So she's going around telling everybody that she's a lesbian. And I was like, no way. Let the music play And your worries wash away Such a simple way to see The only connection that me and Linda had was that we were neighbors. And we never talked through high school. We see each other passing the halls, but we never actually talk. And he came by and talked to me while I was drinking with my friends. And the only uh, wittiest thing or the coolest thing I could come up with was to be like, what's up neighbor? And that was, that was it. That's all I could come up with. Because everybody was probably trying to hit on her, trying to do some crazy pickup lines, but I had to stay back and just knew that we were neighbors and that's that's something nobody else had every chance along the way my first memory i have of linda is her coming to my house trying to sell us fish when we were young our parents would sell fish ahi tuna they would buy the fish and cut it into slabs and go door to door and sell it. And my mom would tell me, you have to go next door and ask the lady if she wants to buy fish. Uh, remember her knocking on my door? I'm like, why is my classmate knocking on my door? And when he opened the door, I just asked him, does your mom want to buy fish? <laughs> then he would call for his mom and I was hoping that she would just say no so I can just go home and she said yes so I had to wait to ask her what she wanted and I was so embarrassed. And that I could say is probably my first memory of Linda when I first saw her. Growing up, Linda would take care of the kids, like her younger siblings, and you know, change our diapers when, when she was four or five years old. I mean, imagine that. <laughs> so I guess she was the responsible one. She, I would say, has one of the most warmest, like gentle, loving heart. She, she's a, such a good-hearted person, like, or will do anything for her family. Anything. We blood brothers. I, I, I met on two years later when I was born afterwards. You know, came out the same womb. I guess you could say he's very handsome. I say he could be a little confusing. Um, very stubborn sometimes, majority of the time. Punk! Troublemaker! It's like we were friends instead of brothers. But it's cool now. When everybody sees her, she's not that friendly. She has the RBF, but that's the first impression. The real Linda is actually really caring, friendly. If somebody 
meet her, they'll be like, oh, she's nice, she's reserved. And, but once, you know, she opens up to you, and like, dang, I know you well! <laughs> He's an awesome guy, you know, very outgoing. Um, someone I, I look up to. Silly. Come on, fuck. Goofball. Dumbass. But most of the time, more got style. Style and grace, baby. You know, it was her birthday. We we're chilling at the pool. Only a certain few people came. I think James and Jenny came. It was a Saturday and we were at the pool at the Modern Hotel and I just wanted to hang out at the pool and get drunk and I was inviting everyone to come and nobody showed up and I was kind of bummed because I'm like, hey, it's a Saturday, why doesn't anyone want to hang out at the pool? And I could see it in her face that like she was so sad. This is. Keep in mind, her birthday week too, so we just had her birthday. But all I could hear was Linda complaining, these mother effers, they don't want to come to my party. His aunt and his, her boyfriend finally came and hung out with us, so we had a few drinks, got a little tipsy. The sun wasn't down yet, and then Mikey dug out to the room, and his aunt and her boyfriend told me that they're gonna go walk to the beach to the sunset. And I was kind of bummed because I was a little tipsy and I was wondering why everyone was ditching me and no one wanted to hang out with me that morning. So I went back up to the hotel and... And it was hard to get drunk Linda into proposal Linda because she just kept, kept complaining about nobody came to her party and she had the whole pool to herself, the whole deck, the whole cabana. And I was like, we gotta go, we gotta go, it's, it's showtime. He was like, let's go take a walk. And we went walking. Linda was so drunk, she's like, what are you doing? I gotta go pee. And like, why is your hand in your pocket? And I'm like, oh, no. it's nothing, I just got keys. And we sat down and faced the sunset and I was tipsy, so I was just babbling and asking why are we sitting so far from the sun then he just got up and I turned around and I saw everyone all his friends my friends and his family and he had rocks in the shape of a heart. To see your face. And then he went down on his knees and he proposed. To hear your voice. No, I touch you. Right then and there, like Here's her eyes start to well up. And so here. you know, I get down on one knee. My hand I asked her to marry me. That your love will never fade. I stand and that, that moment was just Say magical. I wanna hear your voice in the morning when I rise. Think I know I'm just a normal man, only made of sand, except when you're by my side. Will you love me, teach me, don't leave me? I pray. When I and I'm thinking of the times, your hands and mine together will stay. You made me better today. Linda makes me, you made me better a better today. person. She's always pushing me to do better or to not today. give up. Mikey is the type of person that will do anything for anyone and always put others before him. Man, Linda's eyes are so big, like. I can't stop staring at him. He's so genuine. He has such a good heart and he has a nice smile. And he's always doing, trying to do anything to make me happy. 
he calls me beautiful every morning, even though I don't agree with him all the time. <laughs> he likes to make people laugh, and he just does a lot. When I first met her, like, I would just get stuck watching her, looking at her. I'd be like, wow, this could be the one. And at first, I guess, everybody thinks that she's a bit <laughs> Oh, sorry. But, but you get past her face, and you see her smile, and you hear her talk, um, you hear her laugh, and she's just a person that you want to be around. Uh, she has a lot of positive energy. Um, she's very caring. And once you get her drunk, I guess she turns into this whole other person where she can't stop talking, dancing, laughing, and saying, Woo! Shot! That's Linda. Today.